In this video, I will provide you with a few examples that you might be able to use to square a foundation or a group of footings that might be located on a sloping surface like a hillside. So let's go ahead and get started with what it would look like if we were squaring the footings on a level surface. And to do that, you're just simply going to come from the same point on each side of the footings and then simply measure those lines. And for example, if this measurement here is a quarter of an inch shorter than this measurement here, then you will need to move this a little bit further this way or this one here a little bit further this way. And I hope I said that right, but I will put a link to another video on how to square a building foundation. I don't want to go over that in this video because I've already covered that information. And the key thing you need to remember in this video is that we're going to be using the same points on each one of the footings or form boards. So let's go ahead and change the location to hopefully provide us with the same outcome. So again, instead of going from this point over here, I'm going from this point. And if I'm going to be using post base connectors, I might choose to use the corner of the post base connector instead of the corner of the form boards. And that might look something like this. And if this makes sense, let's go ahead and go to the next part of the video that will be providing us with a sloped surface. And I think it's going to be better to come from the inside than it will be to come from the outside. However, I will leave that up to you because sometimes you're going to have something in the way that could create a problem for your measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the inside corner. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that here. And I'm going to be measuring from this point here. And you can always add a piece of material onto the form boards if it's going to be easier for you. Or even a piece of building hardware that might be easier for you to measure from. And that might look something like this. So we're going to have a line that will connect from this point here to this point down here. And then we're simply going to break out our tape measure and start checking all of these measurements. And another thing you're going to need to consider will be to measure these sections here to make sure that they're correct also. And as always, if you have any questions about the video, feel free to leave them in the comment area.